I was hesitant but agreed as long as they would be genuine, and the reconciliation process started when I moved back home. Then I met Jen. Jan and I met at a bar when I moved back in October and hit it off well. She was easily the most beautiful and intelligent woman I ever met and we met up a few times more before we made it official. I wasn't sure where my relationship with her was going or my relationship with my parents was going. Mostly, I didn't want to mention my family because I was ready to cut contact again if needed. At dinner with my family, my parents asked to see pictures of my girlfriend, and they passed my phone around the table. Mark saw it and blew up calling me a poop brother for dating his ex-girlfriend. He demanded I break it off with her and I refused. When I asked Jen about it, she confirmed they dated and gave me the details about their breakup. They were only together for a month before he broke things off with her because he was bored of being in a relationship and never really wanted to settle down anyway. On Jen's birthday this year, I took her to a fancy dinner with our families and her closest friends to ask her to marry me. Mark flipped again and blew up about me proposing to her, which my sisters and I immediately shut down. Mark had been quiet about the whole thing for the last two months. I didn't see him much and figured he was in low contact with me which I had no problem with, then he invited me and Jen for a family dinner at his apartment with my parents and sisters. I thought it was weird but my parents and sisters were also going so we agreed to go. The dinner was nice, nothing too fancy, and we moved to the living room to talk. About 30 minutes into normal conversation Mark stood up and told us he had an announcement. He made a long speech about being happy to have his family around for his big moment then got on one knee and pulled out this cheap ring while asking Jen to marry him. Jen was confused and uncomfortable. She demanded that he put it away and stand up. My dad tried to make a grab for Mark but I got to him first and punched him. He said something like wanting to show me that Jen wasn't really into me and just wanted to get back at him. This is the last straw. Jan and I went home and decided to uninvite Mark. A few days later, my mom stopped by my house and said she wanted to discuss my wedding. She asked me why I was so adamant about Mark not coming. She said that I shouldn't be so insecure about my shouldn't be so insecure about Mark and Jen's previous relationship and that uninviting him as he said that if I weren't going to re-invite Mark then she would not be coming either because I'm ostracizing her son. I shrugged and told her that if that's what she wants, she can toss her invite in the trash because I won't. Beg her to be there. She asked me if I would be okay with her not attending, and I told her it wouldn't be the first time she missed an event because of Mark. She said I was being an off for throwing her past mistakes in her face and she stormed out. About two weeks after she decided not to attend the wedding, she stopped by and said she wanted to clear the air and talk about everything. She said she couldn't get over me not inviting her because of a simple mistake. I reminded her that his simple mistake was proposing to my fiancé with me sitting less than three feet away from him and she said it was just a joke. Things got pretty heated up and we were having a screaming match. Jen got up and started walking towards the door. My mom followed her, still screaming at her. By this point, she's yelling about her tearing our family apart. While Jen was unlocking the front door, my mom grabbed her hair and pulled her to the ground still screaming. She hit her and tried to claw her face and I dragged her off of her and threw her outside. She banged on the door for a few minutes while I made sure Jen was okay before she left and called the both of us repeatedly. When I was sure Jen was okay I texted my mom and told her not to bother to reach, I texted my mom and told her not to bother reaching out again because we'd never speak to her again even though Jen doesn't want to pursue anything, it's not up to us to decide whether it goes further but they would keep our preference in mind. After that, I was shocked when my mom tried to corner me leaving my job, and screamed at me about trying to ruin her life. She kept screaming that I was an awful son for trying to get her arrested over a small misunderstanding and she didn't understand what she'd done to deserve being punished like this. I told her that she shouldn't have hit Jen if she didn't like being in legal trouble. She demanded that I tell the police to forget the report, which I refused. I told her what the officer said about it being out of my hands. I also told her that I would never forgive her for what she did to Jen and what she did to me and my sisters growing up. She started to say how I should move on like my sisters, but I cut her off and told her that she should take their forgiveness and move on because she would never receive it from me.